SubhanAllah, when we're talking about the you know, legacy of our amazing and incredible African-American brothers and sisters, I want you to know that we have an international Dubai Qur'an competition where every country of the world comes and competes. And we've had three winners from the United States, and all of them are African-American. SubhanAllah, we have Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, in spaces of Qur'an, which is where I do so much research, and women reciting Qur'an. MashaAllah, on the app that we have coming out, inshallah, we have women Qur'an reciters, so many from Nigeria, from Cameroon, from Guinea, mashallah, from the Gambia, and mashallah, their recitations are not just beautiful recitations, they're also reciting qira'at. So you're gonna hear recitations you've never heard before and you don't understand. And I'm gonna have just play one of them for you, inshallah, as we end, just to give you a glimpse of the depth of knowledge because this isn't just, oh, I go to the masjid and I memorize it from hearing someone. The level of this knowledge is so powerful. And those of us who are not black, we have so much that we owe our brothers and sisters. Our brothers and sisters, how you so beautifully spoke to this. May Allah bless you to recognize the fact that we, who, those of us who are not black, the privilege that we have, and also to recognize that the reason we have so much privilege is because of the sacrifices and the, 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 the pain of our brothers and sisters from the African-American community. But the scholarship that we have from so much of East and West Africa is just so powerful in our, in our, in our history. So I want to end because subhanAllah, listening to this, it will inshallah blow you away. This is Sheikha Zainab Zaylani. She is a, like, mashallah, hafidah with so much, um, a constantly, a constant winner of Qur'an uh, uh, competitions. And I want you to hear something different than you may have heard before. I just, mashallah, there are so many of them, I need to get to her. Bismillah. <laughs> Dr. Amina, in one minute, can you explain what just happened? Uh, the first ayah? Just that what happened to her? Why, why did she say all of those? There's like, no bismillah rahman rahim between them. Yes, why did she say the last one and the first one? Because she's, you know, she's connecting the two surahs. Sorry, I just that I was sucked into the rest of the I'm so sorry. Alhamdulillah. I'm sorry. I'm actually out of practice for my qira'at. But mashallah, like at the beginning of the surah, what she was doing was imana. So like the ja'a, ju'a, or ji'a, they're all different recitations. Sorry? Even that one. Mashallah. Okay. Actually, do you want to answer? Yeah, can you answer? Come. No, no. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. MashaAllah, so different types of recitation. So uh, some of the recitations, they have imala. And they don't say the, the word with fatih, the way we say it in Hafs. So in Hafs we say ja'a. But Ibn Zakwan says ja'a. So he makes the imala. So this is one of the one of the ways that differ between the qiraat and uh, subhanallah yani, uh, there are so many differences and um, Imam Shatibi radiyallahu an um, collected all the differences in the Quran all the uh, and he calls it huruf so when you say harf it means that it's read differently from one recital to another Sometimes they agree on certain ones, sometimes they d differ. Some reciters say a nays. Uh, some of them make full ishba' for the mad. They would say, إِذَا جَاءَ Six. Some of them say four. 
So it depends, it's a whole science. And mashallah, the more you learn about the Quran, the more you, you think that you know nothing. And actually this is about all the sciences of Islam. Subhanallah. Sorry? No, Bismillah. Some of the reciters, um, for example, Hamza radiallahu an, consider the Quran as a whole. So he doesn't read the Bismillah. Some of them do six different ways, or five different ways, how to connect the surahs. So, for example, I'm going to answer this uh, in a little bit of detail. Let's take... Uh, so some of them would, the first rule is to separate the three uh, positions. They would say, Alif Lam Mim. You separate. Then what you do is you connect Bismillah Rahman Rahim to the beginning of the next ayah. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Alif Lam Longer. Meem. But you never connect um, when, uh, when you start the Quran, you never connect A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Rajim to Bismillah Rahman Rahim so that the one who doesn't know the Quran would not think that uh, Bismillah Rahman Rahim is the end of the first surah. So and then you can connect all of them together. And uh, some, some reciters also do sect between the two ayahs. Actually, the sect without Bismillah, so um, that's wrong. Let's connect them together. Alif So different ways of reciting. Alhamdulillah.